The working title for my book, Existential Physics, was more than this, because I wanted to say that physics is more than what we learn in school. Electric circuits, rolling balls, atoms, yes, all this is physics. But physics is more than this. Physics tells us how the universe works and what our place in this universe is. It was also a nod to the song More Than This by Roxy Music, which I've always interpreted as being about the difficulty of coping with determinism. The title Existential Physics was a suggestion from my editor, and I liked it immediately. I think it captures well what the book is about, and in all fairness, is much more descriptive than my working title. Existential Physics is concerned with all those questions of our existence that touch on physics. What is time? Are the laws of nature just a coincidence? Do we have free will? Are there limits to what we can know? What happens to the information about the composition of our body and brain after we die? These are all questions that I talk about in my book. I've also in my book tried to make clear how much of what we talk about in the foundations of physics is really knowledge and how much of it is just belief. The idea, for example, that there are universes other than our own. It's possible, but we don't know whether it's true or false. I call such ideas ascientific. They're not incompatible with science, they're just outside of science. The multiverse is such an idea. So is the idea that the universe can think. We don't have any evidence that it does think, but we can't rule it out either. It's possible. My book covers what I think are the most interesting topics in the foundations of physics. I really enjoyed writing it, and I hope you'll enjoy reading it. Merci d'avoir écouté.